Trading is not easy, as you know if you've tried to trade for any length of time. But are there easy trades that you can make? The reality is that even if trading as a whole is difficult, that doesn't mean there aren't easy setups that occur regularly. As a prop firm with 50 plus professional traders, some of whom make seven and even eight figures a year, we've seen it all. And we've discovered some trades that are much easier than the rest. And in this video, we're gonna share with you one such setup in exact detail. It's a super simple scalping technique that can offer you high probabilities to take quick profits, but only if you know the hidden mistakes to avoid and the exact rules to follow. And that's exactly what you'll be learning in this video. So stick around. Today we're talking about a momentum scalp off a technical pattern. Since this is such a straightforward trade, we're going to define it a little more clearly. We're actually going to call this a morning momentum breakout trade. Since there's so many different definitions of scalping, it's important to define what a scalp is to me. In my trading, a scalp is a moment in time when the price action is suggesting a higher probability of a move in my favor than a move against me. That's it. For scalps, I'm thinking entirely about the probability of this trade working based on the information that's presented in the price action. When I define a scalp, I'm solely focused on the risk when I'm initiating the trade and very open to different reasons to sell that could be offered by the stock or the market. Even if my whole time increases in a scalp because the stock is not giving me a reason to sell, I'm very rarely turning a scalp into a move to move trade or a trade to hold. Those are different trades with different risk parameters and different reasons to sell. For the trade we're talking about today, I want to cover it in three ways. Start with the catalyst. The stock is in play with elevated volume and a fresh news catalyst from the prior session. Let's cover the setup. Specifically for this trade, it was a break of a three-day range to the upside above a seven-plus key technical level on increasing volume, showing the stock is in play on a breakout. We challenge every trader on our desk when they're talking about a level to score that level, zero being the least significant and 10 being the most significant. For a trade like this, it needs to be holding above a seven-plus key technical level. Everyone's scaling will be a little different, and it is a little bit subjective, but once you start thinking about things in terms of 10 being most important level, zero being least important level, and if you get in the habit of just scoring things, it actually makes things a lot easier. The trade that we're talking about is a momentum scalp long off a key technical pattern. You could make this trade very similarly to the short side, we just happen to have the example of a long here. If you want to learn three more real world setups that our traders use, including the simple setup that we teach all of our new traders and the setup that turned one of our traders into a seven figure big money earner, check out the free webinar that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right hand corner of your screen. That will open up the free registration page in a new window. So don't worry, you won't lose this video. You can also visit tradingworkshop.com to register for this free intensive workshop. You're going to learn more in a couple of hours from this trading workshop than from years of online education. Covering some key principles of this trade. Why does this trade work? Well, stocks need volume to move. When we combine a strong stock with a key technical pattern and a high volume break of that pattern, we're offered a high probability momentum scalp trade. The rules of entry for this trade. We identify a key level the stock cannot get above that corresponds to the technical pattern. Once the price gets above that level and the tape speeds up, or if you see the volume bar increase quickly as price breaks the level higher, you enter that with a limit order on the offer. The reason why you need to do that is you need to be aggressive here. 
You don't want to spray and mark it because you could get filled randomly. But you do want to get in as aggressively as possible because what you're seeing is the high probability moment you're looking for. The rules of your stop. Your stop goes two cents below the low of the high volume bar. I know you could argue that two cents is arbitrary because there are some stocks that trade huge ranges and others that don't, but two cents is plenty. What we're looking for in this move is the momentum to move away from our price. That's it. For a momentum trade, this trade should work. So just put your stop in place and define your risk. The rules of exit. You exit when the momentum slows. This can be seen on the tape, which is what we use, but it also can be seen as a second bar on a one minute chart that's not able to extend higher. In this case, it's pretty obvious when it can't really clear 4190. This is a momentum scalp trade. So you exit as soon as the momentum's gone. We always wanna cover rules of improvement as well. Traders on our desk improve in this trade by reading the tape. Seeing the tape, which is the term we use for the time and sales, speed up or seeing distinct changes in the level two will allow you to enter and exit this trade more efficiently. The more efficient you are at entering and exiting this trade, the better you can increase your probability and the more PL you'll capture from every one of these opportunities. So here we can get into the specifics of this trade. We have price that moves up above 40, which was an important resistance level, on volume with a catalyst, and then a clear consolidation occurs. The consolidation winds up being a very clear technical pattern. Right now, we're not going to get into what technical patterns are or which technical patterns are better than others. I don't really care about that in this trade. I know that there are a lot of technical patterns out there and you know you can look around, you can do a Google search and, and, and find some of it. We're going to be covering more of them. This is certainly a, a wedge pattern in my eyes. Um, there's a clear, clear, clear seller at 4080. And as the price action touches there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times, um, you know, it gives you gives you this pattern. The, the price action's tightening up. Um, it's showing you that that there's probably going to be a break in one direction or another. We cover a lot of the patterns in in our training in our development, um, but you know, this is one that that I really like because it gives me a very clear point of entry and a very clear stop. All I have to do is sit there and wait for the pattern to break with volume. So I'll just sit in my seat and watch. You can see about five minutes before the pattern actually broke with volume, it broke without volume. Um, that's oftentimes a really, really important thing to recognize because if you try and trade this break without volume, uh, it's very likely you're gonna get stopped and it'll be frustrating. The key here for me is I am looking and waiting for the volume to come in on the break. As soon as the volume comes in on the break, I'm actually watching the tape and it'll speed up. Um, for those that, are, that don't watch tape, you can probably trade it just on the volume off your chart. But you know, once you see the tape, the level two and the time and sales start to speed up, that really becomes your entry point. And you're really trying to buy as close to that 40, 80 um, seller lifting as you possibly can, because you'll see volume just clear it. Um, as soon as you're in, you immediate, you can enter with a limit, aggressive limit order. So you're, you're basically limit on offer. You're clearing the offers as it lifts. Uh, I don't enter these with market orders because you would just get blown out. You probably get horrible prints and, and things like that. So I am trying to get it as close as I possibly can. Once I am in this trade, I'm immediately setting a stop two cents below the low of the candle, mainly because I think when it breaks, it shouldn't really go back down there particularly when it breaks with volume. You're seeing the volume come in, you're getting everything you wanna see in the price action. It's giving you a really good opportunity, take it. Uh, my reasons to sell in this are pretty simple. I'm actually just riding it up until the momentum stalls. Um, I'm watching the tape to do that, but you can also do it on the one minute chart here. You can see clearly that, that it went up, but it couldn't lift higher. And really, if this is gonna be a, a really good momentum continuation trade to the upside, it's gonna to continue to lift. And it just didn't. So after the second time up, maybe even the third time up, you're just cutting. 
it, the momentum's not there and I'm not worried about what's going to continue to happen. I just know that the trade that I wanted was there. I took it and it, it wound up being a great trade because it worked really fast. And I got a very nice reward for a very small amount of risk. I wanted to kind of get close to wrapping this up and, and really wanted to cover five mistakes that are absolutely critical to avoid when making this trade. Again, this trade is a momentum scalp out of a technical pattern. You have to set appropriate expectations for this trade. It's very easy to get into this trade and think, oh, maybe it'll just go really, really far. or Maybe it'll continue on or, you know, I don't know. I don't care. I'm taking the trade for what it is. It's a move to, it's not a move to move trade. It's not a trade to hold. This is a momentum scalp off a technical pattern. I'm going to enter when the momentum starts and I'm going to exit when the momentum's done. Uh, I'll use the tape to do it. You can also use the, the, the chart to do it if you need to, but make sure that you're setting appropriate expectations for what this trade is and is not. Um, it's just too easy to get trapped in that. You have to pick the right stock. Stock selection is absolutely critical to this. We define good stock selection as stocks that are in play. You know, you really do want something that is trading above average Arval, has fresh news, is trading out of recent ranges. In this case, this one had all three. The more checks in your favor for this trade, the, the more likely it is going to be to follow through. Um, you have to let the technical pattern develop before you enter the trade. If you don't, you're going to be guessing, not trading. Don't guess. You need to make good trades. So let the technical pattern develop and don't predict the break. When the momentum break occurs, take it. You have to trade this with the right stop. It's very, very easy to say, I'm going to enter just below my, I'm going to, I'm going to put a stop just below my entry. That is not the right stop for this trade. The right stop for this trade is the low of the candle particularly on the high volume candle, it should not come back to that price. If it does, you're likely to get, it, it could set up as another trade or it could just fail entirely and you don't want to put yourself in that position. So you want to put your stop in the right place here. If you trade with the wrong stop, you're likely to get stopped out and then it'll go and it'll just be so frustrating. So make sure you're putting your stop two cents below the low of the candle. And you can do that as soon as the momentum takes it to the upside. Um, finally, one best practice in general, do not move on without setting alerts. Or even better, just don't move on from this stock. Take the trade that, that was offered to you but then stay with this stock. If a stock is trading that cleanly, if it's giving you that sort of price action, um, it is very likely that it will give you more opportunity later in the day as well. So if a stock is show, it's showing it's trading really well, uh, it's giving good solid moves, just sit there and wait for the next trade in that same stock. This is an example of why you do that because the trade that we made today, this momentum scalp out of a technical pattern was to the left, it's highlighted in the red. That was a very simple trade and it was a great risk reward trade and had an amazing outcome that was fast and powerful. Look at all the other trades that you could have made in that stock on that day by just staying with it. Set alerts at the key breakouts. You had a really nice break and retest, which was a higher time frame trade. It's not a scalp in this case, but it's a really, really good trade. Um, you had a really good momentum. You could even do a break above the, the prior resistance level. That was a really good trade on increasing volume. You had an overextension trade or a couple overextension trades if you like those trades. There were just so many opportunities presented by this stock. And if you move on too quick, you're gonna miss them. Finally, we've gotten in the habit of putting this as one of the last slides of our presentations. This is actually a mural that hangs in the wall of our kitchen in our, in our Midtown office. Every time you go get a glass of water, uh, go eat your lunch, you, you see this staring you right in the face. It's a really powerful reminder uh, that all of us are meant to do something great. None of us are here to do anything but something great. You have to believe in yourself. Everything we do centers around having that belief in yourself and, and that understanding and that respect for the fact that you are meant to do something great. So now that you've learned this super simple, high probability scalping technique, it's time to go out and put it into action. But before you can have great success doing that, you need to understand the fundamentals and basics of scalping. If you don't know the overall principles of good scalping, you can still end up making unforeseen mistakes, even with a simple technique like this one. But the great news is that we've already have a video that teaches you all about scalping. 
so you can be much better equipped to trade in a range of market environments. So just click the video appearing on your screen and watch that now before you do anything else.